107. Good morning, Michael and Christine. Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump, how are you this morning? I'm doing great. Absolutely great. And I just want to take this moment to thank you for being on my show. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're on our show. <laughs> Listen, everybody's talking about your wife this morning, Mr. Trump. Um, oh, she did a great job, didn't she? I got a, a clip here. Now, what we've done is we've taken a part of your wife's speech from last night at the Republican National Convention and a piece of Michelle Obama's speech from back in 2008, and I've layered them together, and it's very similar, Mr. Trump. Of the the values that you work like, hard for what you, you work want hard in life. For what you want in life. That your word is that your, your bond. Word is your bond and you that you do what, what you, you say you're going to do. I mean, it's the same speech. It's literally the I same speech. Believe, I cannot believe Michelle would copy Melania. That, that, <laughs> no, her speech was back in 2008, Mr. Trump. I know. Melania wrote that speech back in 2008, yes. <laughs> I doubt it. Wow. <laughs> so that's what's happening here? Melania wrote that, the speech before you even announced that you were running for president? I think uh, what happened was she was emailing it, and uh, Michelle got a hold of it through Hillary's email. Oh, <laughs> that whole twist. All right. Well, that, that makes sense. But she, ended up, she ended up stealing it. So we'll, we'll answer that legally down the road. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, Mr. Trump, you have your big uh, acceptance speech coming up on Thursday night. Can we get a little preview of what you're going to be talking about? Oh, I'll give you a little blurb if you don't mind. I'd love that. Are you, are you ready? Sure. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of America, it's about to be great again. Yesterday, a date that will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by the naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. What? Wait, that's what? FDR's speech. Mr. Trump, that was after yeah. Pearl Harbor. Uh -huh. Michael, please don't interrupt. Let me finish. Okay, sorry about that. I have a dream <laughs> that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. Wait a minute. Come we on. hold these truths to be self-evident. <laughs> and on. all men and women are created equal what? under Trump. What is going on here? Um, that You didn't write that. Now, this is one small step for man, but a giant, giant leap for America. <laughs> okay. Who, uh, is, who is that sexy thing I see over there? That's me standing in the mirror. What's that icy thing hanging around my neck? That's gold. Show me some respect. If I was you... I would want to be me too. That's, That's Megan, Megan Trainer's song. Now you're ripping off our local homegirl. <laughs> and so, my fellow Americans, I ask not what you, what you. And so, I'm a little nervous. Sorry. <laughs> my fellow Americans, ask not what Trump can do for you. Ask what you can do for Trump. Thank you very much. Donald Trump, everybody, Donald on the Trump. Rock and Fox Thanks Show. Thanks for joining us. Look forward to that speech on Thursday night. Thank you, Mr. Trump, for joining us this morning. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down the <laughs> <laughs>